one side and one ratio and game over. You got it. So here, what you could do is you could go eight and then uh, take 25% uh, of that. You could use your calculator if you want, or you could use a little pride here. This one's easy. That's a quarter of eight, so uh, that's half of half. That would be two. Okay, all they did is multiply the 25% times eight. That gives me my two. Now you got two of the sides, uh, and you want to know the last one. I'll call this T. Every time you got two of the sides and you want to know the third one on a right triangle, what time is it? It's Pythagoras time. So you could easily find the last one. You could play this little game here. T square uh, plus uh, two square is equal to eight square. So T square is equal to 64. Take away four. I know someone's going to ask me how I got that. So let me do it. T square plus four is equal to 64. Then I subtract four from both sides. So t squared is equal to 60, so assuming that t is positive, which we will for now, that would make t equal to the square root of 60 units. I told you, I got all three sides, look at that. Why? Why? Because I knew the secret. What is the secret? If you know one ratio and one side, game over. You can solve the triangle and you can see, you can tell how high butterflies are flying. You would be the life of the party no matter what you look like on the outside. If you got the goods inside, you're good to go, my friends. Try another one. Come on, pause. Suppose this time you know this side to be eight units, could be eight feet, whatever, and you know one of the ratios. Suppose you know the ratio of this side to that side is 25%. I know it's not drawn to scale, but just uh, let that slide. So suppose this is 25% of that. According to the secret, what do we need? One side and one ratio and game over. You got it. So here, what you could do is you could go eight and then uh, take 25% uh, of that. You could use your calculator if you want, or you could use a little pride here. This one's easy. That's a quarter of eight, so uh, that's half of half. That would be two. Okay, all they did is multiply the 25% times eight. That uh, gives me my two. Now you got two of the sides, uh, and you want to know the last one. I'll call this T. Every time you got two of the sides, and you want to know the third one on a right triangle, what time is it? It's Pythagoras time. So you could easily find the last one. You could play this little game here. T square uh, plus uh, two square is equal to eight square. So T square is equal to 64. Take away four. I know someone's going to ask me how I got that, so let me do it. T squared plus 4 is equal to 64. Then I subtract 4 from both sides. So T squared is equal to 60. So assuming that T is positive, which we will for now, that would make T equal to the square root of 60 units. I told you. I got all three sides. Look at that. Why? Why? Because I knew the secret. What is the secret? If you know one ratio... And one side, game over. You can solve the triangle and you can see, you can tell how high butterflies are flying. You would be the life of the party no matter what you look like on the outside. If you got the goods inside, you're good to go, my friends. Try another one. Come on, pause. This went on for size. Again, all you need is two things, the ratio and one of the sides. It's all over now. This is telling you that to go that way, all you do is take 45% of 15. So all I do is take 15 times 45%. That gives me 6.75. Oh, now, what am I going to do? I don't know. But I see I've got two sides, two out of three on a right triangle. Every time you got two out of three on a right triangle, what time is it? Pythagoras time. So I could say B squared plus 6.75. Squared is equal to 15 square, blah, 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 blah. The rest of that is boring. Okay? I'm way too sexy for the boring stuff. I'll let you figure that out. You guys were ready to take it up a notch or two? Let's do a little bit more interesting one, okay? Suppose this time we take it up a notch and we switch things up a little. Again, one of the ratios is, is known and one of the sides. I promise you that's the secret, that's all you need. 
But in this case, this side is given, not that one. And, and this ratio is telling you that to go that way, you would multiply. Multiply by 60%. Now, take a wild guess. What would you do if you wanted to go back? If you wanted to go back, instead of multiplying, you would divide by 65%. It's really easy. To go that way, you multiply by 65%. To go that way, you divide by 65%. So to figure this one out, what I would do, what I would recommend you do, is you take your 10 and you divide by 65% and you get 15, uh, whatever, 15.385. Uh, I'll just round off. Okay, and there's one of the sides already, another one. Uh, now, how would you figure out that side? Well, again, this one is unknown. You got two of the sides. How are you going to figure that one out? It's Pythagoras time. So, um... Should I do that one? Maybe I'll do that one just for fun. Uh, I'll get the t squared plus uh, 10 squared is equal to 15.385 squared. And that would mean that t squared plus 100 is equal to that guy. That guy squared, let's see what you get if you take that guy uh, squared. You get about uh, 236 point uh, six nine I'm just gonna round off and then uh, you subtract a hundred so that gives you a t square is equal to one thirty six point six nine so therefore t is the square root of one thirty six point six nine approximately sometimes I forget to say approximately but we're rounding off I round it off here and I round it off here again so there you go I told you every single time you've got one side and one ratio game over. It's way too easy. That is the secret to our trick class. Okay, want to take it up a notch? Let's do the next example. Alright, so we're taking it up a notch. Again, I promise you, on these right triangles, on all of these right triangles, on Euclidean space, flatland, I've got one secret, one secret only for the whole first part of the course. If you've got one ratio on one side, game over. Okay, you're the winner. In here, how many ratios do we have? One ratio, check. How many sides do we have? One, check. I told you, you should be smelling already the scent of victory. Watch this. Whoa, how are we going to do that? We don't have this ratio. We can't go that way by multiplying or dividing. No worries, I got your back. We'll call this one something that we don't know. We'll call it something like T. And we'll use white color, we'll call it T. What we do know is that if you went that way, you would multiply by 30%. So you would get 30% T. You would multiply 30% times T. You still don't know what it is, but you know this is 30% of that. That's, that's what's given, that ratio is 30%. Now, you can still play the Pythagoras game, except you can have a couple of variables here, but they're the same variable. The Pythagoras game would go something like this. T squared is equal to 0 0.30 T, the quantity squared, plus your 2 squared. Okay, that's your 2 from there. Your 30% T squared is equal to your T squared. And where would that take you? Well, you'd have to square 30% T times 30% T. How much is that? You could use your calculator. 0 0.30 times 0 0.30. Whoa, that's 0 0.09, 9% t square, and that plus 4. Okay, and that still looks a little bit uh, doable, so we should be able to figure that out. Okay, so you got t square, take away 9% t square. Uh, so I got 1 t square, take away 9%, that would give you uh, 1 minus 9%, that would give you 91% of t squares on that side if you were to divide it. Stop me if I'm lying. This is one whole t square, and this is 9% of a t square. So if you subtract it over there, that gives you 91% t square. And now I still want to solve for t square, so I would divide both sides by uh, 0.91 divided by 0.91, right? So I'm going to take my excellent little calculator. I'm going to light it up so you can see it. Huh. And I'm going to do 4 divided by... 0.91 and that gives me that t square and I'll use the 
non-magical disappearing ink on that one. That will give me that T squared is equal to 4.3 uh, nine, six, more or less. And so what? Well, that tells me that t, if we assume that it's positive, I could take t to be the square root of 4.396, approximately. So I'll take my answer that I had on there, and I will raise it to the point half, or square root. And let's see how we do that. Uh, we will do square root they don't make these calculators like they used to. So uh, 4.396 raised to the 0.5, that will give me uh, t is approximately 2.097. Uh, there you go, uh, 2.097. And then you take 30% of that, so I'll multiply by 30%, and that will give me my other no, number six two eight nine 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 nine. Told you three sides to your uh, triangle, all from the promised one ratio, one side. Told you you could be anybody and have these magical powers within your uh, within your reach. And you know what's even better than the secret? What's better than having one ratio and one side? Of course, having two ratios and one side. That's even better. Watch this example. Suppose you've given these two ratios, meaning that to go that way you multiply by 50%, or meaning that this side right here is 50% of this one. And this one right here is 86% of that one. Suppose you knew, you knew the secret, you knew those two ratios and one of the sides. It's all over. This is even easier than the other one. Watch this. To go that way, keep in mind that to go this way you multiply. So to go backwards, you would divide by the, by uh, 50%. So you would take your six and you would divide by. Um, you would take your six and divide by 50%, and you would get 12. That would give you 12 here. And then you would take your 12 and multiply it by 86%. 86.6% and that would give you your bottom of here should be about 10 that's 86% of 12 10.39 uh, I told you 10.392 and uh, that's that's even better than having one one ratio on one side having both ratios this my friends this is the secret to solving all sorts of problems all sorts of questions all sorts of amazing um, accomplishments just by looking at you you'll be the life of the party I told you let's keep this one short and sweet man this is a secret okay